Hi again everyone. So we are having Oden today. So I'm really excited to try this. Yeah, and uh, you you say your name. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. This is Ria. <laughs> And this is Sebastian. Um, you might have seen me in one of the previous videos. Uh, I run a small YouTube channel, Nama Japan. Come check it out and uh, let's have a beer today. <laughs> All right. Cheers. Cheers. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Uh, yeah, recently, the work is getting like more and more busy these days. I don't know why. Um, I work in automotive as a project manager. So say the workload goes like like this, and now it's more <laughs> more like this. Something like konyaku. That is konyaku. Then you have egg. Yeah. Daikon. I think that's uh, wakame. Kombu. Kombu. Sorry. Kombu. Very nice of you to share everything. Yeah, yeah, you should yeah. just order. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Looks good. <laughs> nice and warm. Yeah. This tastes best when it's cold outside. Um, you go have a cold beer, but some hot oden. Mm -hmm. yeah. I like how in Japan the food is seasonal. It changes according to the season. Yeah, yeah. We don't have that in India. But India is like a temperature is almost the same throughout the year. But we do have a winter and a summer. Uh -huh. It's not as cold here, but we have a winter. Okay. We we're call it winter. <laughs> where, where in India are you from? Kolkata. That's where the Ganges River kind of ends, the delta. India is basically like a continent. Yes, it's, it's like Europe. It's completely right? different, yeah, yeah, yeah. But they're like going in one country, but it's just so diverse. <laughs> Culturally completely different, the food is different, like the, the curry is different, and in areas where you eat more naan, the other eat more rice, and so on. Completely like different, kind of different country almost, right? Yeah. I'm glad you understand it. It's interesting. We see the the culture clash between Japanese people and Indian people, especially when you have like an Indian manager and Japanese staff, because oh. uh, the Indian is very, how can I say, very generally speaking, now, very direct, fast. Do it now. Do it. Don't think. Start. Start now. Yes. And then, and then on the other side, you have the Japanese who are more thinking about it and considering everything and taking their time and very indirect with the criticism um, so you have a lot of misunderstandings as well I love this I love this so what's this? Japanese beef stew stew yeah stew are you able to eat uh, beef? yeah okay <laughs> Important part of the Odin, always drink the soup. Daikon? Yeah, let's order some more for them. Satsumaage. 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 Do you like hanfen? Uh, I'm okay. Do you like it? Yeah, I, I actually do. But I was told that a lot of people don't like it. A lot of Japanese people. What's hanfen? If you look at the konvini oden, there's always some white stuff floating on the top. <laughs> yeah. That's the hanfen. Yeah. It's, like it's like a fish marshmallow. 
a little bit hard to describe. Oh, but this is delicious. Yeah, you like it? Oh my god, it's amazing. <laughs> so nice. So yeah, I mean, I think I mentioned that we are not supposed to eat beef. <laughs> so yeah, I but thought you, you forgot. <laughs> but you don't really care, right? Yeah, yeah. No. If I go to a supermarket in India, can I find like a beef? Meat? I haven't seen beef in any supermarket. Okay. Do you have a McDonald's in India? Yeah. The beef. What? Chicken. McDonald's. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, no, it's not beef. It's not beef. It's chicken. It's chicken. Yeah. Okay. There are uh, other uh, burger places that serve beef burgers. Yeah, that's really good. Mm, probably if you go back to the hotels and so on. Oh yeah, all hotels have beef. Uh, I mean, I don't know, maybe they import it, I don't know. Oh, and then of course there's Kerala, South India. Uh, Kerala? In Ke yeah, if you know Kerala, people of Kerala eat beef a lot. Oh, they okay. have beef curry also. Actually, I went to a waterfall. So you go into the mountains of Tokyo. And then you go in the waterfall. Under the water, you have to pray. And it's like all like guided by a monk that exactly tells you how do you do it. God, wasn't it cold? It's very cold. I'm somewhere from the mountains. So what's the, I mean, why do you do that? So basically, my understanding is, and then you, you wash away your sins, you feel refreshed. The cold water and the force, and then you hold against it, and you still go on and pray. It's something that shows your dedication. Kind of, that's my understanding. There's some kind of power there and uh, everyone is dressed uh, very lightly. For example, the, the guys only wear something called Fukoshi. And it was it was really funny because one of my friends, his name is Kota, he's a very light guy. He was like getting swept away by the water <laughs> and because he's so skinny his his fundoshi almost fell, fell off so he came out of the water and like he had like oh no 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 like, you know he had to hide <laughs> but, but was there any girl you yes a lot yeah, yeah. that's what made it made it so funny so what do we have here? We have the, this is the hampen, yes. daikon, yep. chikwa. This is a satsumage. Ah, satsumage. And here is ah, uh, sorry, yeah. Ah, okay. Yeah. Looks good. This is nice, delicious. Yakitori. Yakitori. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Try to. Okay. No, it's nice. Yeah. So, I'm curious what you what you what you think of the hunting. Uh, the white side. Oh, it's really soft. I yeah, really like it. Happy. Oh, I like it. Yeah, let's, let's continue where we, st where we stopped last time. Do you remember what you can recommend from Hokkaido? Ah, uh, so man. Yeah, they have the same one. Oh, they have it? Yeah, Otokoyama. Yu-chan's recommendation, here we go. So recently I went to uh, Oshima. Osh Oshima. Oshima. So south of Tokyo, Izu Island. There is a ramen store that is called Kudosanko Ramen. They opened like 32, 33 years ago. After they opened, there was the eruption of the volcano on the island. She has a specialty ramen and it's called eruption ramen or in Japanese, Ibuka ramen. So she makes the ramen and like a, a mountain of spicy green onion. Oh, okay. So she puts that in some chili oil or something like that. And makes a mountain and on top. She puts a rye. So you try that ramen. I came too late. <laughs> like, oh no. So I have to go again to try Unka ramen. This was in Oshima. Oshima, yeah. Very nice place. The, the secret about the Izo Islands. No Japanese person goes there, and I don't know why. It's, it's one of the most beautiful areas in Japan, I think. And it's right off the doorstep of Tokyo. You take a boat, 
two or three hours. And you have, you have beaches, you have like water sports like kayaking, surfing, snorkeling, you have hiking, you can you can do camping. It's 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 everything. Tourist everything. They have really good food. For example, Oshima is very famous for the togarashi. It's like a special uh, chili. I like paradise. Yeah. It has everything I like. So, for example, in the soy sauce, they don't put wasabi. They put a, a green a pepper. Oh. So they press on the pepper a little bit. So they uh, show you the soy sauce becomes spicy. And it's fantastic. Uh, if you get sashimi, they sometimes they marinate uh, some of the fish in some spicy soy sauce. And it's outstanding. It's so good. In summer, you know, during the daytime, you just go hiking, you go into the water, beach and so on. And then at night when it gets colder, you sit in the warm water with a cold beer and watch the, the sunset. It's just it's fantastic. And whenever a Japanese person asks, nobody goes there. So I recommend to everyone, go to Oshima, go to Izo Island. It's worth it. It's a recommendation. Another shot. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't, just, just slurp it. Yeah, yeah. Enjoy tasting. Yeah. Ah, you chan. <laughs> we have to go back. We have to go back, yeah, yeah. What is the age you can drink in India? It depends on which state you're in. Really? But in general, I would say 21. 21. Oh, okay. Yeah, but some places are 25. Oh. Yeah. Well, how about your place? And some places you're not allowed to drink at all, like never. Like they don't sell alcohol. <laughs> you know what the limit is in Germany? 16. <laughs> 16 is like you can start buying beer and wine. And with 18, everything like from liquor, vodka, whatever you want. Like walk around with a beer. It's not like the US or something like that. Or you have like ID or something. <laughs> is it in India? Can you openly drink it outside? Drinking is such a taboo in India. Like uh, even if you're an adult, you know, the, just the word for drink in Hindi it just sounds so vulgar. When I was like say 14 or 15, I would go to these parties and the, you know my friends would smuggle alcohol and then you know if they would get drunk, they wouldn't know how to go home because their parents would not let them go out ever again. Like, like all my friends, they carry a lot of gum with them because they think the gum will somehow hide the alcohol. It's like strong mint, minty gum. It's a whole different world. I mean, in the end, it's not so different. I mean, you're still drinking, you're still partying, you just have to hide it. Hide it, right. That's the difference, you know. That, that's my, my opinion. Like, for example, I never needed to hide that I was drunk or something like that from my parents. They would laugh at me. You know, and say like you're an idiot or something like that. Like, How about relationships? Did you have to hide the fact that you had a girlfriend ever? No. Is there a certain age you know, after which you should date? Let's say I did hide for the first couple of weeks that I had a girlfriend. Uh -huh. not, how can I say? But like after she stayed over like for third or fourth time, my parents were like, <laughs> I never told my parents I have a girlfriend. You, you just, over dinner, they're like eating, and I'm like, oh, by the way. <laughs> Everybody knew it. Yeah, I'm like, yup, I have a girlfriend. <laughs> How about, how about India? You know, like Is that if, happen? A, if a male friend would come over, uh -huh. I was not allowed to close my bedroom door. Even if we were studying or whatever, I couldn't close the door. I had but to keep it open. You could have a male friend over. That is okay. 
different words for saying cheers. <laughs> yeah. It's a word part of a culture. Yeah, yeah. So good. You have to think of uh, the next place to drink. The next place to drink. Yeah. Today? Today. Today. <laughs> There's a German restaurant we could have gone to. Okay. So maybe next time I'll show you some German culture. Yeah. German sausage yeah. or something like that. Why not? 